in 7FM. And I know you love this one. Um, Selom Brantier. Uh, of Imani, so this is, Africa. <clears throat> this is one for you. Uh, Selom Brantier of Imani, uh, Vice President. But this morning, look, we're getting back to the fight against Kalamse. Yes, we've been talking about this for God knows how long. We have set up operations upon operations. Now we have Operation Halt 2. We have used force. We have tried amending the laws. Stiffer punishment. We have said, let's put in place stiffer punishments. It will serve as a deterrent for those engaged in illegal mining. Well, we have those punishments, but people are still engaged in it. Now we say, ban small-scale mining in the meantime. But we did that some years ago. Why are we going back to what we did years ago, which clearly from the evidence may have worked and did not solve the menace? We have said, okay, we're going to get the chiefs involved. Now, before any concession is given, the chiefs would be made aware. But is it, I mean, is it the only way of solving the problem? Can it really solve this problem? This morning, we're joined by one man who says we have to go back to the pre-independence era. And the systems that were put in place in this country, our traditional systems, had a nice way of dealing with this menace. And if we go back to it, or maybe make some changes to the current dispensation, we'll be fine. Until we do that, bring the best man on earth. He will fail in our fight against illegal mining. He's joined us in studio. We're going to get into that conversation shortly here on the Super Morning Show. But first, are you sinking in your bed? Is your mattress failing to give you the safety and comfort that you deserve? Get yourself a royal full mattress which guarantees you the good sleep and relaxation you deserve today as space setters. We have attached pillows to the mattresses you buy for free. Get this offer in all our showrooms and sales outlets across the country. Don't be left out. Royal Foam wishes to say a big thank you to you, all our loyal customers, for making us win the Silver Award at the 12 Ghana Business and Financial Services Excellence Awards. Call us now on 0202-271000 for inquiries. Royal Foam, rest assured. And getting cash on the go from an APSA ATM is now ever so easy, even when you do not have your contactless APSA debit card with you. For the first time in Ghana, you can withdraw money from any APSA ATM with the APSA mobile banking app using a QR code. It is easy, safe, and convenient. Simply open your APSA mobile app, select ATM QR cash to scan the QR code on the ATM screen, follow the prompts, and get your cash out. That's another digital innovation that gets things done. That's Africanacity, and that's certainly APSA. Download the APSA mobile banking app now to get started, or visit the nearest APSA branch to sign up. Well, let me say good morning to all of you listening to us in Tech Radio on Radio Max, and also good morning to all of you listening to us in the Bono region on Sky FM in Kumasi. We're live on Love. 99.5 FM in Bogatanga, Radio A1 in the Northern Region, Bishara Radio, Radio Justice, Might FM, Saboba FM, Jata FM in the Northeast Region, Wale Wale FM in the Volta Region, Jubilee Radio, Volta Premier, Manuveve FM, Sun City Radio, Lolonyo FM, Kekeli FM, Fafa Radio, Radio Pando, Clenham Radio, Victory FM, as well as Swiss FM. And Winston, we're also live in the Upper East Region on A1 Radio, Radio Fumbese. Dreams FM in the Bono East Region is Gaskia FM, which is in Techiman. And of course, in the Central Region on ATL FM, which is in Cape Coast. Upper West Region, Radio Freed, Radio Wa, Radio Sumali, Bolu FM, Laura FM is in Laura. Good morning to all of you listening in Jirapa on Ganga FM. You can have your say, join in the conversation. Our WhatsApp number is 55 We We're also on Twitter. Remember to use the hashtag JoySMS. We'd love to hear from you. So, one of you, this morning, before we get into the conversation, before I even introduce our guest, now, last Saturday on News File, we had, um, you know, the DCE for Elembele, Kwesi Bonzo, on the show, who was talking about the challenges he's been going through. You'd also hear from Otum for the Asantehne. Now, when he met Lands and Natural Resources Minister Samuel Abuchinapo, he told him something. 
Then when he met the U.S. ambassador to Ghana, he said something still on Galamse. And recently, when he returned from a trip abroad, he's been talking about how chiefs have an important role to play. Because this morning, our focus is on our traditional institutions. Let's listen to all these. And then we come back, and I'll introduce my guest. So when we arrested them, we put them before court. And then the condition was that they should take the machines back to do reclamation. These are some of the chiefs. I took the chief aside. Okay. So we sent the low bed that we are out the one in the vest. Mm. Had the low bed to carry the test to the police station. Now we sat down with them that you cannot do this damage and go scot free. All right. So go and then reclaim the land. So you realize that they are now doing the reclamation. Mm. So I got them to reclaim over four to five acres of the land they had. They had destroyed. I see. And this one, and yes, this is a particular operation that we went to arrest there. The, right in the center of town, this telecom All right. All right. And if you watch the footage, mm. incidentally, the division commander's house was just at the other side. Mm. That issue also came up. That's the, that's the building there. Up All there. Right. So that's the division commander's house there. Oh, I see. Yes. Ah, the Galamse is happening right in front of his house. Right behind. Oh, no. About 130 meters and, away. And there are also homes right there. Yeah, homes right there. That's what you and, mean by center of town. Yes, and this is the financier of the Galamse who was arrested. So I had to shout in the video. Mm. Commander, arrest him. That's my official car. Answer and making time, Master Mamebekano. Before I read my speech, I. The President may can't send me a new business here. So. And the regional minister, I may be able to get a new business here. And they are the worker at Anos, and some are pressing Mekana. So, and this are known to be a mechanism for Frobia, Edin Kakra. So, as I said, no crane in Mekacha, who must say, Galam say, yeah, 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 Ye che mo mo be thirty percent ana eni mo ma ye galamse. So na ye ya anka no kure no a ye be da da ye ho ye be ye conference ye be ha. So se se me che ya o mo be ye galamse ade. So ba ko o se nanan mo ni twa sa se na ma ye. So o ka no ye nim ha. So no mo ka na na bia o tu bia wa twa sa se o de ye galamse bia wa so of wa so <laughs> Womunim, so who first soldier for co, your conanam ho, now young woman, I buy a casa casa and crop for it to one a mile, Sicano. They are quite now, we are so to Galamsan and Wolfina with Javon. One no one was kept your detail. What page my end will be a fans or may? The gold in a coin. I don't know, no young children. They were talk great than no idea, and the caterpillar, the original one now, where Galano John, who was called the cotto a day. Oh, sika o deko to greda. Sure. Kwa ne to greda no man. Sure. Ada no ndi enche no. Sure. Ne kwa ne akutwa photo. Obi a oja wa na tie bia fra fra no a. Lebra wa oji 200 sia za 300. Yes ya che galam se. O che no. A wo ko search na de na wo no. Sure. Your finance ye no aye to go do no wo ho. Wo no ye ye ndan. Sure. Ada no ndi enche no. Sure. Enti a band some say, I nature, Mamma, make me pen now, Debbie, I'm moving any fun. And quantum for some one. No, no. Auntie Galam say, We are twenty, a new crop for a church, go to a fine echo. Good no sinigana, a cock. To one edgy gold no bob or no decro. No, 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 Galam say no be jai ne fi di ni ni na wo sa ne cha na be yen suyo huwa toy na se ya kochi galam say ma ko amansi o nem kolebi ne tiebi guya huwa ya se ya che se galam say wo sa che nzwa huwa go di biya wano ne go di ne fa hini 
You say you love your children above all else, and yet you are stealing their future in front of their very eyes. Until you start focusing on what needs to be done, rather than what is politically possible, there is no hope. You only talk about moving forward with the same bad ideas that got us into this mess, even when the only sensible thing to do is pull the emergency brake. You are not mature enough to tell it like it is. Even that burden you leave to us children. But I don't care about being popular. I care about climate justice and a living planet. Our civilization is being sacrificed for the opportunity of a very small number of people to continue making enormous amounts of money. Our biosphere is being sacrificed so that rich people in countries like mine can live in luxury. It is the sufferings of the many which pay for the luxuries of the few. The year 2078, I will celebrate my 75th birthday. If I have children, maybe they will spend that day with me. Maybe they will ask me about you. Maybe they will ask why you didn't do anything while there still was time to act. You say you love your children above all else, and yet you are stealing their future in front of their very eyes. Until you start focusing on what needs to be done, rather than what is politically possible, there is no hope. We cannot solve a crisis without treating it as a crisis. We need to keep the fossil fuels in the ground, and we need to focus on equity. And if solutions within this system are so impossible to find, then maybe we should change the system itself. We have not come here to beg world leaders to care. You have ignored us in the past and you will ignore us again. We have run out of excuses and we are running out of time. We have come here to let you know that change is coming, whether you like it or not. The real power belongs to the people. Think about the future, children. Mankind, wicked and wild. Destroying generation, alright. Anyway, anyway. Here I am. Fire night and milk in the water. They let this poison in the water. The farmlands are chemicalized and I don't know what to do. Yeah, I, and this is because of illegal mining and cocoa production. Joy, 99.7 FM. Deforestation and rising a violent crime every day. Well, many men shall die because of the greedy of another man. Well, many shall die because of the greed of another man. Many would be faced with water shortages if care is not taken because of the greed of another man. But can we just sit down, throw our hands in despair and say, there's nothing to be done? Is the solution right in front of us? Our very own well-tested traditional systems. Is, this, is that what we are expected to do in dealing with illegal mining or irresponsible mining.
This morning, we're joined by lawyer Kwame Jan. You know him. Uh, whenever he's here, he's talking about our land and the law governing it. Today, we're talking about land all the same and the natural resources in the land and how we can make sure that once and for all, we're able to deal with this menace of Galamse. Kwame Jan, good morning. And thank you very much for joining us. Winston. A very good morning to you. Hope I'm you're doing very well. I'm happy to be back. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm very well. We're, 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 we're happy to have you. And, uh, you know, right from the morning, right from the beginning of the show, we've been talking about what we need to do. So we've tried a lot of things. Now we are told we need to inform the chiefs when, you know, we're giving out concessions. We believe that's a way to go. We believe the DCEs must know. We believe that's a nice way of dealing with the problem. But you say we must go back to our pre-independence era. What were we doing right at the time that you want us to go back to? Um, Winston, a very good morning to you again. Hmm. And um, a good morning to all the good people who are listening both at home and abroad. Hmm. When I talk about going back to the beginning, mm -hmm. I want us to go back to the whole idea of mineral ownership. Okay. Because if you don't go back to that period, you wouldn't appreciate why we are in this situation now. Mm. Many years back, the owner of the land was the owner of the mineral. Mm. You know our history. Sure. We have this country now called Ghana. Ghana was put together from different components. Mm -hmm. you know, we have a landmass of about 238,000 square kilometers, yeah. including internal water bodies. We were put together out of the colony, Ashanti, Northern Territories, and Transvolta Togoland. Yeah. So this is what became Ghana on the eve of independence on March 6, 1957. We got this land, 238,000 square kilometers. In terms of the ground, the surface, we lost some out of the Volta Lake system. Mm. And we also lost some land from the Bui yeah. power system because of the flooding of um, otherwise land mass. So, we don't exactly have 238,000 square kilometers like we thought we had. Because mm. of the Volta Lake and its tributaries and all of that. Now, we were a British colony many years back. The British did not change the regime on ownership of minerals. Mm. So, the British allowed traditional authorities to grant their own concessions and grant mineral rights and grant timber harvesting rights okay. within legal frameworks that had been established for the colonial um, state. Mm. You, you probably may know or your listeners may know that there was what we called the Aborigines Rights Protection Society. Yes. The Aborigines Rights Protection Society was formed to protest against the passage of the Crown Lands Bill of 1897. Yeah. Now, the Crown Lands Bill of 1897 was a piece of legislation which the British wanted to use to vest what they called ownerless lands mm. in the Crown, in the British Crown. Okay. What were they calling ownerless lands? Tell us, what were they calling ownerless the, lands? They found, so between Asante and Achim, they will find a large, vast area of land unoccupied. For them, it was ownerless. Mm. They find between uh, Akrapim and Achim, vast lands ownerless. Because how, how much was the population? Exactly. Of the time. So, the indigenous people 
led by what they call the intelligentsia, the educated elites at that time, formed this association and said, no, 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 no. In the Gold Coast, there are no ownerless lands. Every land in the Gold Coast has an owner. Mm. It may not be under cultivation or development, but these lands have owners. So don't vest them in the British crown. The British withdrew the policy. Sure. So the British allowed us to run our own things because there was a gentleman called Lord Lugard. This guy was a British anthropologist and public servant who worked for the colonial states. He worked in Nigeria and some parts of, of this country. He was trying to assist the British to find the most cost-effective way and most effective way of managing this large colonial empire. He came out with a book. And the title of Lord Lugar's book was Dual Mandate in Tropical Africa. And in this book, he expounded the principle of indirect rule. Okay. And the pra pra practice was use the local political institutions to run these colonies. And Chief Tensi, our system, was very solid at that mm. time. And they okay. used it. They used it so much that the first president of the republic is reported to have said that the chiefs, because they collaborated with colonial powers, at independence, they will run away and leave their sandals behind. Mm. And uh, Winston, I can tell you that they, 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 they probably ran, but they are still wearing their sandals. They are still wearing their sandals. But so let's get to the system that you talked about. You said in the past, the owners of the land owned the natural resource. Who were the owners of the land? In the past, most of this country is owned by stools. Mm. And Ghana has a very interesting situation. Every region out of the 16 regions has some mineral. Hmm. So, for example, the coastal areas from Accra, there is salt. Yes. And in our laws, salt is a mineral. Yeah. So, uh, if you check 16 regions, there is minerals everywhere. So, our endowment of minerals is incredible so the land owners predominantly the stools families and clans were the owners of the minerals because our definition of land actually includes minerals so at the point how were they exploiting these minerals so the concessions for the exploitation of minerals were granted by the land owners that's the stools. yes the stools were granting concessions over for, for mineral exploitation and for timber exploitation. Okay. So when they grant the concessions, are all the royalties paid to them or is there any revenue sharing agreement at the time? They're, they're, you know, a royalty is a periodic payment that is made to the owner of the resource mm. for the exploitation of the resource. So yes, they were getting it. The interesting thing was that this time, the companies that were mining were predominantly British. Yes because of the relationship between us and the British. Now, we started getting hints of a reversal of this policy from 1958. What were those? One things? year after independence. In 1958, the government of the time, the CPP government, passed two critical pieces of legislation. Okay, what were they? One was the Achimabuakwa Stool Land Revenue Act of 1958, Act Number no. 8 of 1958. The second was the Ashanti Stool Land Revenue Act, also of 1958, Act Number no. 28 of 1958. So, you 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 see how this thing started. Mm -hmm. Revenues accruing to stools in Achim Abuakwa, Achim Abuakwa only, not the rest of the Achim. Chim has Abuakwa, Kotoku, and Bosomi. Yes. But it was revenue from Achim Abuakwa only, which was targeted. And revenue from Ashanti was also targeted. You know the reason? What were the reasons? These were the hardlands of the opposition. Mm. So take the revenues from these tools and impoverish them so they will not be able to fund opposition political activities. Okay. 1958. 
1961, the government sets up a commission to go through or investigate all the grants of concessions for timber and for mining that the traditional authorities had made. 1961. Now, the commission made some very interesting findings that the chiefs did not understand the legalities of the concessions they had granted. They had been promised infrastructural developments by concessionaires which were utopian and which would not happen. That they were not having proper legal advice when they negotiate. In other words, they were not fit to negotiate. They don't know what they are about. So let's take it from them. Mm. So based on the recommendations of this commission, in 1962, the ownership of minerals changed from the ownership of the lands to the state. And Winston, in 1962, pieces of legislation were passed. Let me set out for you what was done. Okay. The first piece of legislation that was passed was the state, sorry, the Land Registry Act, 1962, Act 122. The second was the Administration of Lands Act, 1962, Act 123. The third was the Concessions Act, 1962, Act 124. The fourth was the State Lands Act, 1962, Act 125. The sixth was the key legislation that we are interested in, the Minerals and Mining Act of 1962, mm. Act 126. This was the legislation that changed the regime of ownership of minerals from the ownership of the land to the state. But how has this contributed to what we face today? So, we started off at that point. We took over the ownership of the mineral. Mm -hmm. The moment you took over the ownership of the mineral, you also took over the collection of royalties. Yes. The most recent enactment on this subject, the Minerals and Mining Act 2006 at 703, Act 703 also continued. And the Act 703 continued from the constitutional framework. Mm -hmm. The 1992 Constitution, in Article 257, Clause 6, every mineral in its natural state is the property of the Republic. Mm -hmm. And it's vested in the President in trust for the people of this country. And this is the provision which was quoted verbatim. It was just reproduced verbatim in section one of the minerals and mining act 2006 at 703 sure so the state is the owner of the mineral winston have you seen the state before <laughs> where is in the your state? in since you've been born have you seen the state where is the state the state we are told that the state is in, in international law mm -hmm. in international law a state is supposed to be um comprising of a territory, a people, a government, and the capacity of a government to enter into relations with other states. Yes. This is what is known as the criteria of statehood in the Montevideo Convention of 1933. This is international law. Yeah. It's not land. Sure. You know? So we are part of the state. So, so, so if the state is just a people, territory, capacity to enter into relations, and a government then it means that the, the government is... Can you touch and feel the state? You cannot. So, what is the state? Tell me. It's supposed to be a, 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 a legal construct. And it is personified by individuals who work on behalf of a government. Sure. And it has certain paraphernalia, which when you see those paraphernalia, you know that the state is around. So the military... The, the judges, uh, uh, government officials, you see the, the presidency, the flag, you know what I mean? Yeah. Currency. These are the, 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 the things that states them show that they are around. The state is around. So the state is the owner of the mineral. The state is probably in Accra. If, if you want to be mischievous, you would say that the state is in Accra. 
But you have, you know, um, the regional coordinating council. <sighs> We have, um, you know, the district the, assemblies. assemblies. We so, have the uh, town councils. So there are zona there are, councils. There are two hundred and fifty-eight minis uh, metropolitan municipal and this is assemblies. Right now we're thinking to two hundred and sixty-one. Two hundred and sixty-one. Yes. Okay. So two sixty-one, and sixteen regions, isn't yes. it? How many settlements do we have in Ghana? About forty thousand, according yes. to census data. Now, in how many of these is the state present? My village is Achimwe Krufufu. There is no police station. There is a chips compound. Maybe that is the evidence of the state. Yes, that's the evidence of so the state. So they're nurses. Yes. They are the representatives of the state. Yes. And by the law, if I found a mineral which has not been converted by a, a goldsmith, it is the property of the republic. I have to hand it over to the DC yes. in my district. So, all those who are involved in what is called artisanal mining are also stealing from the state. Because the moment you find a mineral in this natural state, you don't have to touch it. Okay. So, so you're, you're, you're suggesting that the problem we have today is the law. It is. And the reason is this. So, the owner of the mineral has taken over the ownership. He has taken over the royalty. Under the law, what is available to the landowner is ground rent. And even the ground rent has to be paid to the Office of Administrator of Stool Lands, who then would have to use some formula in Article 267 of the Constitution to share yes. this ground rent. Now, when you took over the ownership, you also took over the power to allocate the rights to exploit. Mm. So the landowner plays no role in the decision to exploit. And I will tell you, I was part of the team that worked on the Minerals and Mining Act. Yeah. And I remember vividly at a meeting in McLean Hotel, myself and a gentleman called Fridri Ajiman. Fridri Ajiman was the, I was the legal advisor at the Ministry of Lands then. Mm. And Fridri Ajiman was the technical director in charge of forest. He and I worked very effectively together. So we were at Mickling Hotel looking at this law. I, I, I looked at the law and I, I, I went to the minister on the quiet and I said, Minister, this law, there are certain things about this law. If we pass, we push it through parliament, we are going to regret. What were those things you saw? One was the sequencing of the application process. What was wrong with it? So, you apply for a concession, a mining license. Your application, you have to go and file some notice at the district assembly. Yeah. Then, the Minerals Commission, they have the maps. So, you identify the area where you want to proceed to mine. The Minerals Commission, under the law, goes through a certain process internally. And they make a recommendation to the minister. And the minister on behalf of the president of the republic because you you know that under the constitutional dispensation the mineral is the property of the republic vested in the president exactly so all these mining leases whether large scale or small scale are signed off by the minister on the authority vested in the minister by the president yeah. otherwise the president should have been signing the concessions because he is the person is the the office in which the minerals are vested on behalf of the country. Mm. So the mineral right is granted by the minister on the recommendation of the forest, uh, sorry, the minerals commission. That's it. Yes. And the minerals, the mineral right gives the holder the power to go to the ground and do certain things on the ground. What's wrong with that? So you sit there, you are the chief, and that's what the chiefs have been complaining about. So the chief is sitting in his palace. If the mineral right holder cares. He will pass by the palace to greet the chief. Mm. If he cares, he will pass by the palace. If he doesn't care, he goes to start. Because what he has to do is to deal with the surface rights holders. And generally, the surface right holder would be the chief who holds their lodia title on behalf of the stool and the farmer who is on the land. Remember earlier when you and I were having a conversation? 
I told you that Ratri, R.S. Ratri, yes. in his book, Ashanti Law and Constitution, Constitution. Re recounts his interviews with farmers in the Ashanti region. And he would ask them, what is your relationship with the land? And the answer he was getting was, the farm belongs to me, but the land belongs to these two. Yeah. You see? So, the, the holder of the mineral rights just goes to see the farmer, makes some payment to the farmer, and he's gone. Cut and dry. Mm. So, that chief, you want him to assist to do what? Protect the resource. Exactly. Why? What is he getting out of the resource? If must, he wants to be selfish. Must it, must it always be what you get before you assist? No. It, uh -huh. it used to be for his group. Mm. The resource used to be for his group. It was taken. We took the ownership, the royalties, the power to allocate. We took all of that. Now we say we want to inform them before allocation. Would that help in any way? You want to inform them. They must be aware of their locations. In, in, in the scheme of things that I wanted at the time of the passage of the legislation, you wanted the concession, the prospective applicant to go back to the ground. And the ground should have a serious presence of the Minerals Commission. Mm. Because I told you yesterday, there is the Economic Plans Protection Act of 1979. Yes. AFRC decree number 47. 47, yeah. I've seen hmm? that. You have seen, I asked you to go and check it. I've checked it. That law was passed specifically to protect cocoa. Mm -hmm. Specifically. Yes. Because if you look at the schedule, the only crop which is listed in the schedule is cocoa. Yeah. And it was legislation passed by the AFRC for the short period that they were in office, they realized that the cocoa crop has to be protected. So, if you were granting a mining lease and you had serious presence on the ground, you would notice, and if you were also conversant with the Economic Plans Protection Act, you will not grant concessions over land populated by cocoa. Because most of these mining you are talking about, you know, when I hear people talk about galamse, I, I, I don't want to use galamse. I would rather use illegal mining. Mm. And you know the reason. What's the because reason? if you are granted a mining lease properly, whether a large scale lease or a small scale lease, and you are even granted a permit by the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, the permit has what we call permit conditions. Mm. It will tell you, do A, B, C, and D, but you cannot do E, F, G. It's set out elaborately in okay. a schedule. So if you have a permit, your entry to the land is legitimate. But on the ground, you are doing the mining not consistent with the permit conditions. You have become illegal. Okay. So... If you if you just use galamse, it creates an impression that it is only in re reference to mining activity which has not been sanctioned by the state. No. If you are given a license by the state, you could even get the, the license, the EPA permit, a digging permit from the inspector division. Still, you will become illegal because you are not consistent with the permit conditions. Great. When we return after these messages, and this one we're joined by lawyer Kwame Jan, we're talking about uh, how we can deal with Galamsi, and he's been advocating that we need to go back to our traditional systems. I want us to understand one thing, because the chiefs that we're talking about are able to stop a lot of things in this country. Oh, yes. They can tell you, don't bury your relative here. You, will not, you dare not do that. I was, I was telling you yesterday. Who we stopped wakekeeping? Wake keeping. The chief stopped wakekeeping in this country. They stopped wakekeeping. So why do we... My village, mm -hmm. if there is a one week, 12 noon, it has to, it must end. Mm. It have not been at a one week in my village which has gone beyond 12 noon. Because the chief says... The chief says 12 noon. So why can't the chiefs say enough why must we 
give back the lands to them. That's what we'll be finding out when we return after these messages. Since inception, almost 100% of Ashesi University students have found jobs, started businesses, or gone on to graduate school within six months of graduation. From Accra to Nairobi, London to New York, Ashesi graduates are noticed and they are leading successful careers. If you dream of a rewarding life and career, an Ashesi education prepares you for just that. Learn more about applying to Ashesi at www.ashesi.edu.gh. Remember, admission is ongoing. Gone are the days when good sleep was a nightmare. Today, rest is assured. We have found a solution. Royal Foam is here. With Royal Foam, quality and customer satisfaction comes first. We produce mattress, carpentry foams, duvets, bed spreads, curtains, and beds. For the quality services we offer, Royal Foam have also been awarded at the 12 Business and Financial Excellence Awards. For good sleep and better relaxation, it should be Royal Foam. For quality, buy Royal Foam. Visit Royal Foam at our showrooms and sales depots across the nation. Call our hotline on 020-227-1000. Royal Foam, rest assured. event in sporting history is on and it needs the biggest packages ever. Adansi Travels World Cup packages are the best and the biggest you can find anywhere. With so many options that will blow your mind out. Travel packages for Qatar and Dubai, which includes return flight, hotel accommodation, daily buffet breakfast, airport and in-city transfers, one-month multi-entry visa to Dubai, discovery of Doha and Dubai guided city tour, Hiya. card for entry to Qatar with free public transport in Doha, complete Elementary guided Dubai City and shopping tour and the ultimate FIFA category three tickets for Ghana match as fair package. Ghana, this is big. All at a cost effect and affordable rate. Terms and conditions apply. So from the 22nd November to 3rd December, book your sports now. Contact Adansi Travels now on 0593-850079 or 0556-310404. You can visit our office at American House East Legon. This is a special security announcement. Trelador, Africa's strongest burglar proofing, announces big discounts on all sliding security barriers, roller shutters, and clear guards to protect homes and offices from criminals. Trelador is fighting rising prices by offering big savings and lower prices. Be safe, secure your premises. Google Trelador or call 0561 24 Trelador, Africa's strongest burglar proofing. The freedom to reduce energy cost in your homes, office, or factory is in your hands. Make optimum use of electrical energy by making maximum use of daylight and use LED light. Open windows to create a cross airflow and only turn on your fans to slow or medium speed when needed. Adjust the temperature of your refrigerator to the optimum range of 5 degrees Celsius to 7 degrees Celsius and that of the freezers to minus 18 degrees Celsius. Use your AC wisely. Don't set the temperature of your AC lower than 25 degrees Celsius. It consumes about 70% of the electricity in your home. Change out data equipments like motors, pumps, compressors, boilers to energy efficient ones. Conduct systemic energy audit and improve efficiency of your significant energy users. Implement a standardized energy management system like the ISO 50001. Visit www.efghana.org for over 200 energy saving tips and messages and put the power in your hands to pay less. This energy efficiency advice is brought to you by the Ministry of Energy, Energy Foundation, ECG, Energy Commission and sponsored by VRA and Gridco. <laughs> This is your last chance to make that dream travel you have been waiting for come true. So take that step with Latina Travels and Tours and join Reverend Dr. Lawrence Tete for an unforgettable religious tour of Israel from the 13th to the 19th of November 2022. Package starts from $2,900 and includes visa, flight, accommodation, three meal plan, transfer and tours which will take you to Jerusalem, Nazareth, Jericho, the Wailing Roar and many more exciting tours. To register, contact Latina 
Gina Travel on 0244-260-789 or call Gifty on 0270-302-245 or visit the Sunny TV premises or Latina Travel at the Elisa Hotel, North Ridge, Accra. This advert is sponsored by Joy FM, Latina Travel, Sunny TV, Sunny FM and AGI. So that's the division commander's house there. Oh, I see. The Galamse is happening right in front of his house. Right behind. Oh, no. About 130 meters and, away. And there are also homes right there. Yeah. Homes right there. That's what you mean by center of town. Yes. Think about the future, children. Joy on the set. The Super Morning Show is always the best. Greed of others. And he says it right, illegal mining. Lawyer Kwame Jan says, let's term it illegal mining, not Galamse. And this morning, we're looking at how we can deal with it using our institutions, particularly our traditional systems. Lawyer Kwame Jan is advocating that we go back to that system where the landowners own the resource on their land. So if you own a land, that's if, I mean, if the land is owned by a stool or a clan, if there are any minerals on the land, it should be owned by the stool or the clan. What we have now, he argues, is to be blamed for what we are facing. We're going to continue the conversation shortly. I promise we're going to ask him. But the chiefs have, uh, even though they've argued in the past that the constitution doesn't give them a lot of power, it's just a recognition of the chieftaincy institution. As traditional Africans, we respect our chiefs and we respect customary law. If they say, don't do this, we don't do it. So why can't they say, don't do this, as we have seen in some jurisdictions? There are some chiefs who have said, no galamse in my area, and indeed, there's no galamse there. Why can't we do that? But the Norwich new season is here. Malta Guinness invites you to watch and support the goodness in women's football with the Malta Guinness Women's Premier League. Follow every pass, tackle, and goal as our ladies add some style to fuel your passion for football. Follow the Malta Guinness Women's Premier League on our social media channels uh, using the hashtag Malta Guinness WPL and watch the matches live on Max TV Weekly. So you know the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2020 is here, uh, once in a lifetime experience. And Adansi Travels, your number one part, uh, traveling agency or company, brings to your doorstep the best offer you can ever get to either Doha or Dubai with just $2,700. You can be part of the World Cup campaign to support our Black Stars to victory. Our packages uh, come with return flights, accommodation, breakfast, tours, and many more exciting goodies. We have packages that allow you to watch the matches while staying in Doha or staying in Dubai. The choice is yours. Contact Adansi Travels now on 0593850079. 0593850079 or 0556310404. Or visit our office at East Ligon, close to American House. Or visit our social media handles at Adansi Travels. And you can also join us on Facebook. Or you can also watch us on YouTube. Okay, just get to YouTube or Facebook at Joy 99.7 FM and you can watch the conversation live. So, Kwame John, let's get back to it again. You say, let's give it back to the stews, the clans, the families. But today, the chiefs who represent the stews, basically, can say, and you've just talked about it, don't do this. Nobody does it. So what is preventing them from doing that? Why must we go back and give them the lands before we can deal with it? Um, Winston, on this subject, mm -hmm. you know, there are two broad regimes of mineral ownership around the world. Okay. 
the American system. Let me set out the American system. Please do. And set, compare it to what we have here. Mm. And check whether maybe a variation of that one could help. Okay. So in America, if a mineral or a hydrocarbon here in this country, if you look at the, min, um, the Petroleum Exploration and Production Act 2016, Act 919 of 2016, Section 3, it says title to petroleum. Mm. And then it says petroleum in its, in its natural state, whether gaseous, solid, liquid, is the property of the republic. Yes. Vested in the president in trust. So the same regime with minerals is what we have with petroleum. Mm. Now, there is the converse is what they have in America. So, in America, if um, minerals or petroleum are found in private land, which is land other than federal land, land belonging to the federal government, the owner of the land is the owner of the resource. Mm. You see why you have all these billionaires, multi-billionaires in Texas? Yeah. Because if I have a ranch, 200,000 hectares of, of land as a ranch, and petroleum is discovered or minerals are discovered it's mine i would exploit the republic the american state would be sure that all the taxes that are due to the state are paid mm. we went to the other extreme vest the ownership in the state the state would exploit and apply the revenues for the development of the country across board this was influenced partly by an idea that the state will be better in a position to do proper negotiations and protect the resource and mobilize the resource for national development. Yes. It wasn't a bad idea. It wasn't a bad idea. But at, 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 on the journey, there was exclusion. Mm. Exclusion and the absence of transparency in the resource allocation and the expenditures, I tell you, my first time going to Takwa, mm -hmm. this is many years back, maybe 20 years ago. I, I, I had not gone to Takwa before. Okay. So I was asking for directions. Am I close or we stop with farmers carrying their wares? You ask them, are we close to Takwa? They say, oh no, go maybe another 30 minutes. We drove past Takwa. I didn't realize it was oh. Takwa. Because the Takwa I was expecting wasn't the Takwa that I okay, drove to. You were expecting I was expecting a, a Takwa. Like not what, what I saw. Like what you've seen in other jurisdictions. Yes. Okay. They started mining in this jurisdiction in 1894, formally. Yes. I wasn't expecting that this is what I would see. But Obuasi should have taught you that you see the similar thing. No, I had not gone to Obuasi before. Okay. So when I went to Obuasi, I told myself, I said, wow, this is what mining didn't do here. But it did it elsewhere. Mm. So, I've, you know, all these years, I've been trying to understand what went wrong. And going back to the point of ownership. So the American system, they have vibrant tax regimes. And they are able to find you when you are exploiting. Here, we have issues. So maybe we can, we can kind of do a different regime. But the present system where the owner is not able to protect the resource, the owner takes the revenues, the formula for allocating is not transparent. Do you know how much we made from gold, diamonds, and everything last year? Tell me. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I think I've seen, I've seen that before. You, yeah, Newmont has been putting I out saw, figures. I saw that um, last week. I'll check it again, mm -hmm. and I'll share it with you. So Newmont has been putting out figures. Have mm -hmm. we done the calculations on what is coming from each part of the country? So, for example, the Obwasi and its environs, a certain percentage of the revenue should have, by law, been allocated, not a small part of the royalty, proper cash. If you bring inclusion and transparency, you can get all these other guys who are sitting on the fence to come and join to protect the resource. Mm. So the chiefs are complaining 
that they are excluded in their location of the rights to mine, isn't it? It is true. The law doesn't make provision for them to participate in the decision making on a location. So it's good that it's being talked about, but you have to put a clause, a section in the law to require the process to start in a certain way. Because you have to start by first going to the ground. And the Minerals Commission must have many district offices, not the situation we have now. Mm. It cannot work. Let's look at that situation. And this morning we're joined by lawyer Kwame Jan. And we, he's been telling us what he believes should be done when it comes to a fight against illegal mining, how we must change the you know, strategy. And we can only do so by going back to our traditional institutions. So you're not talking about regulatory institutions. So you have to, either you change the ownership regime completely and allow those who own the land in mm -hmm. which the minerals are embedded to own their minerals. The state, as a regulator, should regulate how you mine and the state to take taxes out of what you get. Okay. So the state leaves the ownership part. Otherwise, the state should forge a new collaborative resource management regime with traditional authorities and the populace which will require the state to change the revenue regimes as well. Mm. You, you must give incentives to the landowners to support you to protect the resource. How sure are we that this is going to lead to a protection of the resource? Because yeah. as we see today, Otunfo says, if you're not part of it, and you would expect chiefs to be protecting their lands, their water bodies are being destroyed as a result. Yes. Now, if you don't own it, and you're sitting down watching people destroy it and partaking in the mess in some instances, mm -hmm. how sure are we that they won't even do worse so, if they have ownership of it? So, Winston, the fight against illegal mining is a collective fight. Mm. What we are all calling as a failure is a collective failure. Mm. That is why I was telling you on, on the backstage that we shouldn't blame anybody. If you sit here today and say it is the current government that has failed in the fight, I don't agree. Mm. I, I, that is why I trace the steps to where we fell. You know, we Ghanaians, we love any time we fall. We love to concentrate on where we have fallen instead of concentrating on where we slipped and fell. So we should, we should not look at just what we are seeing today and ascribe responsibility that it is just this current government that has not been able to deal with Galamse or illegal mining. Mm. I was telling you, when Bevulolate, Kenneth Bevulolate, was national security coordinator, I, this was when Galamse was creeping in in the Atiwa area, my area. I went to see him told him about it. And you know, this Galamse thing that was launched in the Atiwa area, it started with the collapse of GCD, the diamond industry yeah, in Akwetia. When GCD went down, all those guys who were doing tributary mining and so at GCD, they just started heading up towards the Atiwa west and east. And eastern region became a hot spot for Galamse at that time. Now, I went to see Bevlolate. He got in the military. And they went and destroyed as many excavators as possible. How many years was this when Bevlolate was national security coordinator? Between 2009 to 2013, thereabouts. Okay. So, when did we fail? Is it now? Hmm. So, this failure, I want to say it again. It's a collective failure. And it is not because of now. The failures started way back. What we have seen is there is a lot more publicity now. So one would think that we didn't fail previously. We did. Okay. So, so and uh, Kwame John, let me just get the idea behind this. 
if we give it to the Chiefs, you believe they would do because now they are owners of the land and owners of the resource, they would become better protectors of the land than they have become today? Oh, yes. Yes. How do you justify that? Because I was telling you, these chiefs that Kwame Nkrumah said will run away and leave their sandals behind. Mm. They didn't run. And they are still wearing their sandals. Their sandals are even bigger now. Mm. Haven't you been seeing their Ahinuma, the okay. Ahinuma and all the, the amulets around them? Interestingly, the chiefs, we claim that they are, they are less powerful, but they become very powerful. Yes. And that is why in the clip that was played, the Tunfo, Otikokoso, he was saying something. He was saying, Nana, you live close to where the event is happening. Yes. Are you saying if you are not a beneficiary, you cannot deal with this thing? That's the point. That, that's the question. So that is why I was telling you this is a collective failure. So how is that chief not going us. to be the one so, to deal with the problem? So the chief, the people of the town. If they were getting benefit, if they were getting benefit, they would change their attitude, even if you don't give it back to them. Let them play a serious, a significant role in their location of the rights. Share the revenues fairly and equitably. Mm. You see, once the state is still predatory, the state is behaving like a tenant. You know, let me explain to you what I mean here. Please go ahead. If you go to Bantama and um, Asafo, I'm just giving you that as an example. You see most of those nice houses there. Yes, story buildings. The owners of those story buildings were farmers in Wasa. Where I come from. So they went to your area, they cultivated cocoa. Do they have story buildings in their farmsteads? No, they don't. Why didn't they put up story buildings there? Tell me. They are not from there. When Ghanaians went to Nigeria for greener pastures, did they build mansions in Nigeria? No. Why? You always go to look and bring home. Even our people who are in the diaspora. You know how many buildings Ghanaians have brought on here? You think that the nice buildings in East Legon and in our villages, if you see those nice buildings, you see the Abrochi people, their buildings. They don't go there to work and build mansions in New York. After all, New York. Obia mm. Nyobia. We'll continue. We'll come back. Uh, this morning, we're joined by uh, lawyer Kwame Jan. We're talking about how to, you know, fight the illegal mining menace. And you're talking about, so in 20, uh, you're talking about cocoa pro, uh, gold production. In 2021, mm -hmm. according to official documents, we produced 2.8 million ounces of gold. Mm -hmm. in this country and that was a drop a 30 percent drop of from the four million ounces in 2020 mm -hmm. and if you multiply that by one thousand eight hundred dollars the average price for 2001 mm -hmm. you're looking at five billion dollars yes from gold okay yeah that's just by way of information now section 25 mm -hmm. of the minerals and mining act mm -hmm. says we cannot levy royalties more than between we can levy between three and six percent maximum yes so do your calculation. How much of that did we get in royalty? I would come back and share with you so how much you are got. mentioning these absolute figures, mm -hmm. but how much actually hits your economy in terms of effect? After all, these guys, by all their development agreements and the stability agreements they have signed with us, they keep 20 percent, 25% of their earnings to Bank of Ghana to exchange for CDs, and they keep 75% abroad anyway. Yeah. So What's the big deal? What's the big deal? We'll be right back after these messages. From the pen to the paper, you're always hustling. You dot the I's and cross the T's, covering all your ABCs. Precision, it's what you need to succeed. You want to build, create, and innovate more, but perfection requires understanding the imperfections. Empower yourself in just five days with Google Hustle Academy, a free online business bootcamp. Helping you grow with training, networking, and advice from industry experts. Apply today. Grow with Google. Visit g.co forward slash hustle academy.
Mr. Bossman, with all these computers, servers, and electronic equipment, I know they see one cable for the floor, crap. Right? Charlie, you be right, too. We they use raised access floors from interface, so all the cables they hide under the raised access floor, so. This be the solution to the plenty cables where they my computer room for office. Accountant, call interface now. If you're involved in new property development, renovation, or decoration, the right place for you is Interface Limited. Call us on 0274-99-9999 or visit our website at www.interfacelimited.net. Facebook, Interface Limited GH. Instagram, Interface.Limited. Hey, welcome back to work. <laughs> Charlie, thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Malaria really knocked you down, eh? Charlie, no joke. Hey, fever, headache, vomiting, hey. loss of appetite. I couldn't even eat my usual fufu. <laughs> you have fufu. How we go do it? I hope you got tested before the malaria treatment. Oh, yes, I did. And thanks to Malatu, I kicked out malaria one time. Sharp. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. sorry to ruin your excitement, but your boss asked of you. Okay. She says she has plenty work for you. <laughs> no problem, Charlie. Strength D. You see you. Oh, yeah. When malaria strikes, take Malatu, containing Artemisa and Lumithantrine, comes in tablets and suspension for the effective treatment of malaria in adults and children. If symptoms persist after three days, consult your doctor. Mala 2 is manufactured and distributed by Ernest Chemists Limited. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. This is your last chance to make that dream travel you have been waiting for come true. So take that step with Latina Travels and Tours and join Reverend Dr. Lawrence Tete for an unforgettable religious tour of Israel from the 13th to the 19th of November 2022. Package starts from $2,900 and includes visa, flight, accommodation, three meal plan, transfer and tours which will take you to Jerusalem, Nazareth, Jericho, the Wailing Roar and many more exciting tours. To register, contact Latina Travel on 244 269 or call Gifty on 270 or visit the Sunny TV premises or Latina Travel at the Elisa Hotel, North Ridge Accra. This advert is sponsored by Joy FM, Latina Travel, Sunny TV, Sunny FM, and AGI. It's the Melcom Super Saver in Niji. Save big on your next shopping trip to Melcom. Right from 19th September to 19th October 2022, every purchase you make is 10% off when you use the Melcom Super Saver card. Don't miss out on this incredible deal. Have a happy shopping experience. Terms and conditions apply. Melcom, we're gonna shop. Imagine, say, what I wake up at dawn. You know both. You know chop. Where it vanished for your area for two weeks, uh-huh. you not get one drop safe inside your tanku. Hey. Hadja, our life was in dangerous. Only our neighbor get water with water tank. Water, water tank. tank? Yes, water tank. Mama mia, that water tank gets meter for checking water level. That water tank be fine past Kumasi Selindion. <laughs> that water tank be tough like Ghana Army. That water tank, they carry water, pe, 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 so say some no go left inside the supply tank. Mm. What a tank! That's my boss, who, Mr. Foncho go talk. <laughs> Beautiful, durable, with water level indicator and accurate volume of water. Water tank, what a tank! By Duraplast. <laughs> event in sporting history is on and it needs the biggest packages ever. Adansi Travels World Cup packages are the best and the biggest you can find anywhere. With so many options that will blow your mind out. Travel packages for Qatar and Dubai, which includes return flights, hotel accommodation, daily buffet breakfast, airports and in-city transfers, one-month multi-entry visa to Dubai, discovery of Doha and Dubai guided city tour, Hi-ya. card for entry to Qatar with free public transport in Doha, Complimentary guided Dubai City and shopping tour. And the ultimate FIFA category 3 tickets for Ghana match as per package. Ghana, this is big. All at a cost effect and affordable rate. Terms and conditions apply. So, from the 22nd November to 3rd December, book your sports now. Contact Adansi Travels now on 0593 or 0556 You can visit our office at American House East Legon. Having your baby try out different tastes and flavors isn't just about giving them a change of taste. This helps to develop their palate and prepares them better for accepting varieties of adult food as they grow. So go ahead and try any of our six Cerelac variants, that is wheat, maize, rice, biscuity, fruit pieces, and millet. Remember, each bowl of Cerelac contains goodness that helps your child's normal growth and development. Cerelac, it's all good, mum. This advert is FDA approved. 
Fortune rice, it needs just a little water. The green stone steak and the aroma and taste are mm, 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 delicious. Fortune rice, always on point, just like mom. Now introducing Fortune Emoka, your tasty Ghana rice for all your rice meals. This advert is FDA approved. Just like mom. Hey, Charlie, this Qatar 2022 is bringing back some crazy memories, eh? Me, dear, the last tournament, I go bet my rent advance. First match, no. Hey. Fam, them take show me where I go stay plus my in-laws. Oh. But this year, against my chamber and hall, my go TV showing all the 64 matches. Massa, be tremendous super pop. <laughs> Massa, listen, this time with dear, go, go TV, TV super. Be my 64 matches need in now. Get your go coder and one month plus subscription for only 89 CDs. Go TV. Love it. Coffee in your cup and joy on the set. The Super Morning Show is always the best bet on Joy 99.7 FM. Right, so welcome back and thank you very much for staying with us here on the Super Morning Show on Joy 99.7 FM. And this morning we're joined by lawyer Kwame Jan. We're having a conversation. He's been advocating that um, we go back to the times of old where, you know, uh, landowners own the resource or minerals on their land. And not the current dispensation where all minerals on the land are owned by the state I mean, uh, and, and held in trust for all of us by the president. We'll be continuing shortly because uh, some of you have been advocating also that, um, you know, if uh, illegal mining is going on on your land, the owner of that land should be arrested. Um, others have talked about a total ban, state of emergency. We'll get a stake on that. And those who also say it's all about enforcement and not what you go about. I mean, not handing over the lands to the chiefs or the stews. But if you're a salaried worker, then let me have your attention. I'm excited to tell you that you don't need to wait for payday to get paid. You can get paid any day with the Access Bank payday loan offering by simply dialing star 901 star 11 hash now. And with this unique offer, you can access up to 40% of your net monthly salary before payday to solve pressing needs and still have enough to enjoy uh, you know, on payday. This offer is open to all salaried workers. So if you want to enjoy this and more, switch your salary account to Access Bank today and get paid any day. Remember, it's simple. Just dial star 901 star 11 hash and get your loan in 60 seconds. No documentation required. With Access Bank, any day can be payday. T's and C's apply. For more information, call to fee on 0800 -00 Visit our social media handles or our website, Access Bank more than banking and if it's your birthday today well mtn is saying that because it's your special day you deserve great birthday gifts uh, on them so on your birthday you get up to three hours of free talk time and 25 free text messages to call and text all your friends and family on mtn and that's not all you also stand the chance of getting birthday cakes and e-vouchers to grab uh, your own birthday gift at some of your favorite shops and supermarkets so you know where all the birthday fun day join the biggest family in ghana and let's chill on your special day kind ketsy mtn please note that all terms and conditions apply. Winston, there's a, a question on WhatsApp uh, for lawyer Kwame Jan. It's from Kwame. Kwame in Sakumono says that uh, wouldn't this bring chaos and unending chieftaincy disputes? Yes, lawyer he, Kwame Jan. And, and he's talking about um, the possibility of giving some role to the traditional authorities? Is that what he's talking about? Yes, so right, can, yes. then you have a situation where everybody wants to claim ownership of a land because uh, you, you have uh, a land which is rich in minerals. You know, what he's saying, yes, there is some possibility. But he should also appreciate that in most of these traditional areas, we know the boundaries. Hmm. We know the boundaries. But what I am proposing is you can find a middle ground and that middle ground would require a reorientation of the revenue provisions from mining when we make money from mining what goes to the areas where the mines are 
and what goes to the rest of the republic. I think we can do better. We can continue with the state ownership, work out a proper inclusion arrangement for the landowners to be part of the allocation of their rights. They, they, they should not be sitting in their palaces only to be told or introduced to a miner who says, I have a permit from government to come and mine. And in that case, what sharing arrangements would you advocate? So, for example, you can decide whatever we make from those areas, a third must stay there. A, 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 a natural resource trust fund of some sort is set up for using those funds for the development of the area where the mine is. And the rest of the revenues can go to the republic mm. so that it can be applied across the board. Okay. When now, you do that, mm -hmm. you can easily garner the support of all and sundry in that area to protect their resource. Okay. Now, Occupy Ghana on the 17th of October, that's on Monday, issued another statement. Now, they've said they will be reminding the president every Monday on the fight against Galamsey, as well as, I mean, uh, making proposals. Now, they say, we therefore propose, in the first paragraph, we propose an amendment to the law to specifically criminalize the making of land available for Galamsey operations and the confiscation of such lands to the state. What's your take on that? What is the meaning of making of land available for Galamsey operations? Well, if you, I mean... Because, you know, I was telling you something. Mm -hmm. It says persons... Yeah who allow their lands to be used for Galamsey. Our research shows that often it is the landowners who meet the kimpings and upon being paid or promised payment, quietly agree to look the other way or look on unconcerned as the criminality takes place. Several of these lands owners quietly earn regular income from the Galamsey kimpings and there's little doubt that holders of all kinds of interest in private lands in the mining areas are involved in this, including holders of allodial titles, mm -hmm. such as the Stoos, Skings, and families. So what Occupy Ghana is saying would work with one aspect of the illegality. Mm. The situation where the person has no mining right. Mm -hmm. So there is no mining lease whatsoever. A farmer trades their land to an illegal miner and takes revenue. That's clear. The Occupy Ghana regime can apply. Because even in that situation, you can use, if there is cocoa on the land, you can use the Economic Plans Protection Act, and if cocoa is destroyed, you can easily punish people and deal with them. Hmm. So, on that side of it, Occupy Ghana is right. Occupy Ghana's position will run into trouble when you talk about where a person has a license to mine, but mines illegally on the ground. Mm -hmm. you, you see the point? Yes. He has a 25-acre concession. He has a mining license. He has a digging permit. He has an environmental permit. But he mines contrary to the permit conditions. That one. So, for example, if you come to my land... You have all of these permits, and I take compensation for the disturbance of my surface rights, which by the law I'm entitled to take. But what can you do to that landowner mm. when the miner who came in legally has become illegal by the activities? Can't we deal with all this through enforcement? We you are not supposed, I mean, you're supposed to do the right thing, you're doing the wrong thing. We enforce the laws to make sure that you do the right thing. We, we can do the enforcement, and we should do the enforcement. In fact, in 2019, the Minerals and Mining Act was amended by the imposition of stiffer punishments for illegal mining. Minimum 10 years imprisonment, maximum 15 years imprisonment. This is the highest form of punishment in any law on mining that we have seen in this country, only in 2019. It, we've not seen such stiff punishment for illegal mining in this country. Not in this country's history. Minimum 10 years, maximum 15 years. Is that another way to go? Yes. But in my area, I've checked. Maybe one person has gone to jail. 
You said, I mean, you're, you're expecting more to be arrested. I mean, it's more are arrested every day, but they come back home. Mm. What are you suggesting? So, you need to diminish. Are you suggesting that the the the, the prosecutors are doing a poor job, or they're just uh, or, because, or just a smooth screen? Because there are so many people involved. If you want to arrest everybody, you all your jails will be filled. We we need to get to a point where there's a combination of voluntary compliance with law and enforcement. But if people commit crimes, they must be arrested and sent. They must be arrested, yes. So how about our jails getting full? I mean, if committed a crime, then they must be in jail. I mean, so if you go to some of these mining areas, last time there was some arrest in the as Asamama was no Asamama Asamata Mfoy. There were about 200 and something people. Oh. So if we can continue in that regard, fine. But as we apply the enforcement, let's work on the regime changes. Enforcement, regime change, attitude change, we can deal with the situation. But we should look at it as all of us involved. Hmm. If we look at it, the way we do things in this country, it is the government in power. We want the government in power to fail. So we would use it as a political campaign message. Then we are not going to get anywhere. Because this failure is collective. Laha Kwame Jan is my guest this morning. When we return after these messages, uh, we'll hear from you also. I've seen lots of you sending messages. We'll read those messages. And if we have time, we'll activate the phone lines. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Super Ghana, get ready for God's General Senior Prophet Jeremiah Motufufi once again in Ghana. With the theme, Ghana Recover 2022. It is a five days power park crusade, 8th, 3rd to the 7th of November 2022, at the Independence Square, Accra. Time 4 p.m. each night and attendance is free. And on the 7th, which will be the last day, there will be special impartation and anointing service for ministers of the gospel, politicians, public and civil servants, businessmen and businesswomen at International Conference Center, Accra, at 4 p.m. and is strictly by registration. For inquiries and registration, please call the following numbers 540 0598-924-929 Jesus is Lord This is your last chance to make that dream travel you have been waiting for come true. So take that step with Latina Travels and Tours and join the business tour in Turkey and leisure in Dubai for all your business and leisure needs from the 1st to the 8th of November 2022. Package starts from $2,500 and includes visa, flight, accommodation, three meal plan, transfer and tours. To register, contact Latina Travel on 0244-260-789 or call Gifty on 027. 3022245 or visit the Sunny TV premises or Latina Travel at the Elisa Hotel, Northridge Accra. This advert is sponsored by Joy FM, Latina Travel, Sunny TV, Sunny FM, and AGI. Today, let's learn how to perform a simple procedure, self-breast examination. This helps you to familiarize yourself with your breast so you can promptly identify and report any changes. Let's begin. Step 1. Inspection. Stand or sit with your hands on your hips. Look into a mirror naked. Look out for changes such as marked difference in the size of your breast, skin discoloration, dimpling on the skin, nipple changes, etc. It's important to know that normally one breast is slightly bigger than the other. Raise both arms above your head. Turn from side to side looking for any of the changes changes mentioned earlier, including any lumps or swellings you may have missed. Step 2. Palpation You can do this lying or sitting with one arm resting behind your head. To examine the left breast, use the right hand with your left hand behind your head. Now use the parts of your first four fingers, index, middle, ring, and little finger. Starting at the outer portion of your breast, move in a circular motion. Press your breast against your chest wall. Cover all areas of the breast, ending at the nipple area. Squeeze the nipple between the thumb and index 
index finger to check for any nipple discharge. Now travel to your armpit, checking for any swelling which may feel like a marble or a pea. Step 3. Repetition. Perform the same sequence for the opposite breast. This ends the self breast examination. It should take less than 2 minutes. However, please do not rush while doing it. Some find it easier when their skin is wet or slippery so they prefer doing it when bathing. Be sure to examine your breast at least once every month. One week after your menses or a memorable date for menopausal women. Husbands and partners, the next time you encounter your partner's breast, be sure to familiarize yourself with them. This action could save your partner so you keep enjoying each other. Hey Charlie, this Qatar 2022 is bringing back some crazy memories, eh? Me dear, the last tournament, I go bet my rent advance, first match, no. Hey fam, them take show me where I go stay plus my in-laws. Oh. But this year, against my chamber and hall, my go TV showing all the 64 matches. Massa, be tremendous super pop. <laughs> Massa, me say this time with dear, go, go TV, TV super, be my 64 matches needing now. Nah. Get your go coder and one month plus subscription for only 89 CDs. Go TV, love it. Sorry, I'm paying your air cost for no. Then the nimonyam is sunny. This year at Tom Prince, a two days festival. And she ran and couldn't be dear any and paying your pa. When you boost your phone in and kick up, but many and this year, many and paying yammy, no yako come in the moonyam be sunny. If you say a tons of a friend, Travis Green from United States of America. So we did. Edward Dassel, Celestine Donko, or you my mess. Jack Alolomi, Perez Music, the Multimedia Choir, and the Afufro Bebri. This year I do praise my God. Right, so welcome back from that short break. Thank you very much for staying with us here on the Super Morning Show on Joy 99.7 FM. And this morning we're joined by uh, lawyer Kwame Jan. We're talking about uh, the fight against illegal mining. And he's been advocating that we go back uh, to the pre-independence era. You know, it's either we get the chiefs to become owners of the, I mean, the stools, the clans and families to become owners of the minerals as well as owners of the land or we look at a revenue sharing system where at least a third is you know, giving to the community to be used for development within that community. But the Adum Praise Festival 2022, the Christ at Work experience, two days of Christ at Work featuring an atmosphere of prayer, worship, and praises on day one, that's Thursday, the third and day two, Friday the 4th of November 2022, from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. daily. When the praises go up, Yahweh shows up. Yahweh will inhabit the praises of his people, led by Travis Green from the United States, soul winners, Edwin Datsun, Celestine Donko, Ohima Messi, Jack Alolumi, uh, Perez Music and others. On Friday 4th, November 2022, all will converge at the Perez Dome from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Tickets are going on sale uh, for 100 Ghana cities single and 150 cities double. Come and be blessed. Adum Praise Festival. Ye be him. Adum Praise 2022 is brought to you by DBS Industries. Buy your roof from DBS Industries and get it installed for free. Um, call 0240844444. DBS Industries, roof, papa fee, and sponsored by Franco Trading Enterprise Phone Accessories and Air Conditions, papa, pa fee. Uh, 21st Clinic, the Sciatica Experts, Nias One Toothbrush. Uh, brush with comfort, uh, Kelmet Pharmaceuticals Limited, distributors of Ayalab Gripe Water and Molly's Baby Oil, Frito Sunflower Oil, you deserve a life of goodness, AA Charcoal Toothpaste, fluoride free, made in Ghana, Anas Boy Enterprise, POP, Papa Pafie, Acida Fabrics, where what will inspire you, Avis Ghana, we try harder, Davenue Boutique Hotel, Las Palmas Food Center, Yanni Papa Fie, Fatex Toilet Rolls, smooth, soft and smooth, and unique foods cooking made 
easy. And that I don't praise LPM just reminds me that the Christian uh, religious bodies under the Christian Council has also recently joined the fight against illegal mining. I'd like to find out from uh, lawyer Kwame Jan what that means, uh, how important, uh, you know, that uh, you know, statement by the Christian Council and the association with the fight against illegal mining, what all that means. But first, let me tell you about Kingdom Books and Stationery Limited and how they've made it very convenient for you to shop. They say there's no need to go into any of their stores physically. Just log on to kingdomstoreonline.com. They will arrange delivery to your homes and offices within reasonable time. And they offer free delivery if you happen to be within Accra and Tema. And they accept payment via Momo across all networks, terms and conditions however apply at kingdom quality and affordability are, are their hallmark uh, there's a question from victor in sogakofe and victor says that uh Galamse is not happening in our neighboring uh, countries cote d'ivoire togo burkina faso and senegal it's like the opposite is happening in ghana and i wonder why how Send us your WhatsApp messages on 055 Also tweet at us. Use the hashtag JoySMS. Right, so the phone lines have been activated now on 0302-216541, Kwame Jan, Mamadou was asking you that question. The, the, the question on our neighbors. Our neighbors and the Christian Council, yes. Mama v let me address the question about our neighbors, mm. the Francophones. Mm. It's about colonial past. Generally speaking, the French colonies in West Africa, <laughs> there is a lot more respect for law and order than the British colonies. Togo, if you are a Ghanaian and you enter the Togo side of the border, you start feeling some tickles. Something shows you in your body. That you are not in Ghana. Mm. Oh yes. As soon as you enter Togo, you feel it. You feel that law would catch you. And I think that's the reason that they have a lot more voluntary compliance. Mm. Okay. Mm. Well. They have a lot more voluntary compliance. Mm. So you've listened to Kwame Jan. He's been advocating that um, we go back to our pre-independence system. Uh, give the lands to the stews, clans, families, including the resources. Don't just say you're landowners, but if there are any resources, it goes to the state. Uh, what do you make of that suggestion? And, you know, the point you make about uh, uh, Francophone countries, I have a friend who went to Togo, and he was not supposed to take pictures. He didn't know, because he, he can't speak French. Mm -hmm. They arrested him. Let's get on to the phone lines. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yes, please. Anyway, where are you calling us from? I say, I'm a G Baba from Adenta. Baba from Adenta. Yes. What's, what's your take on the suggestions by Kwame Jan? It's about this uh, illegal mining. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. What's your take? He's been suggesting that we go back to, uh, you know, giving uh, the stews the ownership of the land so they can have ownership over the minerals as well. Mm, I, okay, I think, I we, think lost. we lost Baba, but yes. then I also asked the question about the involvement of the Christian Council. The Christian Council, you remember what I said about the collectiveness of this whole enterprise? The Christian Council, the Islamic groups, the Chad, I mean, we need, we need to combine enforcement with attitude changes. And it's not just about Galamse. It's about sanity. It's about everything. Enforcement without adequate attitude changes will not yield the result. So enforcement, attitude changes, legislative reforms, policy reforms, all of that together. But if we tackle only one aspect, we will not achieve the desired objective. Richard is in Accra. Richard, good morning. Good morning. Yes, Richard. What's your take on, uh, you know, the proposal, the latest addition to the fight against illegal mining? I think uh, I do agree with the, the, law, the lawyer at the studio. The start of the matter is that if you take a critical look at our uh, mining law, it virtually does not give any power to the chief. They are rendered powerless in terms of control. Notwithstanding that, it will be prudent, as the lawyer has just indicated, that um, there's a need for a reorientation 
of the proceed that comes out of the mining. For instance, most of these mining companies are giving licenses to mine. Okay. What quantity or volume of diamond or gold are they bringing out? Are they being charged based on the quantity that they are extracting? No. But there's a, a what do you call it, a, a cutoff point. For instance, for memory cell Mirai, I think about 3% or so, which is very insignificant. Comparing what they earn from these huge minerals that they are extracting from our country, talk less of the, the poor people in the very community that they are extracting the mining uh, minerals from. So it will be prudent, as the lawyer is saying, that the chiefs and the people are giving a portion, a percentage, and that serves as well, an incentive to make them to become more vigilant in tackling this menace. Thank you very much, uh, Richard, for joining us. Let's go to Danfa. Ajari, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Winston. I hope all is well. We're fine, Ajari. What's your take on uh, the proposal? Yes, um, I agree with um, lawyer Kwame John. Uh, he's my lecturer at the law school currently. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> then you can what I want to ask him like that. is that, you know, currently as we speak, um, the system that we have in terms of um, ownership of land, I mean the, the um, bare land that the chiefs are currently owning, usually you hear a lot of issues, people sell land and at the end of the day, you know, conf conflict arises out of it and all that. So as someone was asking, how do we ensure that at the end of the day it will not create some level of turbulence or something? Then again, can we also, even if we are going to adopt that, can we do that through the um, regional House of Chiefs so that um, the House of Chiefs will know that, okay, this particular stool under the, uh, within the region um, is supposed to have this amount of money or is entitled to this amount of money so that the chiefs who will be giving those monies will be accountable to the house of the regional house of chiefs else uh winston at the end of the day you know corruption at, at, at the down there for me would also rise you know or increase astronomically so i just want the uh, lawyer to address that for me thank you very much thank you very much jerry from uh, danfa um okay well i'm told that uh, our time is up so we can't take any more calls Lawyer Kwame Jan, uh, Jerry is uh, asking that should we not do that through the... I, I think you could, whatever proposals, you have to work the details. Mm. You have to work the fine details. And they say the devil is always in the details. Mm. But Winston, wrapping up, yeah. my point is simple. This fight is a national fight. If we succeed, we have succeeded as a collective. Mm. We are failing. And trust me, we are failing as a collective. We have to retrace our steps as a country, go back to the drawing board, look at where we slipped and fell, and fix what made us fall. Mm. We should be inclusive and transparent when it comes to determinations of rights to mine and allocation and use of the revenues. Once we are all in it together and we are transparent, we can bring the chiefs, the police, and all. Because we have tried enforcement. The police go to the ground and they take off their uniforms and they are also inside. They ah, join the fray. You're saying the police join and become come Everybody has joined this fray. Winston, if you go to a mining area, mm. you will join. Oh, how? I tell you. <laughs> Some of us have resisted joining because we think... And we are convinced that we wouldn't join. I I'm mean, it's I mean. very attractive. Mm. You are, you, you are, are you not from a mining area? I am. Once my, my area, I'm, I'm, I'm farming. And somebody was telling me that on the other side of my farm, they were doing illegal mining. Somebody got a nugget, which would fetch like more than a million dollars. Wow. A nugget, free. One million. You know how much Legon pays me for teaching? <laughs> and you think, if not because 
of my social status and my convictions, I would have joined. Lawyer Kwame Jan, Senior Lecturer, Faculty of Law, University of Ghana. Thank you very, very much for joining us this morning. Uh, the ending is something else. I'm tempted to ask, but I know we don't have time. <laughs> how many how many of his kind mm. have joined the fights? But that's for another day. Anyway. <laughs> Listen, just before we go, uh, Winston, we have some uh, comments on Twitter. At Kwame Alcatel says, it's just sad the government is already giving up on controlling this Galamse active. Landowners control the minerals. Who then spends uh, money and effort to purify the drinking water to serve the nation? In Tojan says, the problem I see with the menace is as a result of lack of discipline, sense of ownership, patriotism, and order, but not who should own the land? After all, the chiefs are part of this whole mess. At uh, FCB says, we have to pay them to protect their own lands. And that's a question that he's asking. Well, we have to bring the conversation to a close. Uh, and I'm wishing uh, Dr. Grace Bidiakon a happy birthday. It's your birthday today, Dr. Grace Bidiakon. Happy, happy birthday to you. And uh, Winston, we're back tomorrow, God willing. Yeah, we're back tomorrow. All things being equal, by the grace of God, God willing. See you tomorrow on the Super Morning Show on Joy 99.7 FM. On behalf of the team led by Sami Odamia, big thank you to all of you for joining us. My name is Winston Amon. And my name is Mama Vio Swabwaji. Saying a big thank you also to our guest, lawyer Kwame Jan, for thank your time. You.